Can a black, wild thing like me be loved? This is the question that brings us here to this place, this moment, these words. This is the wondering that existed beneath the belly of my belly, inherited in utero from my mother's mother's mother, to be answered through a series of what-ifs and parachuteless leaps into the unknown. Can something be black and wild and loved? I'd never written the question out or even said it out loud. The anatomy of the question itself creates a rhythm that implies this is a heavy ask. A too much type of ask from a group of people, black bodies, conditioned to ration and repurpose whatever they have been given historically. Not either or, but and, and. The asking alone can feel sacrilegious. It borders on a sense of ingratitude that spits in the face of every Christian grandmother who has raised us to be humble and count it all joy no matter the affliction. And yet here it comes again. The nagging, restless, churning in the back of our minds every time we begin to settle into an existence. No, a love that checks just enough boxes that makes folks look at us like we'd be crazy for rejecting it. Just enough. But what about the other boxes? What gets packed away and tucked into the attics of our psyche alongside our childhood? Was it desire? Was it sexual freedom? Was it fluidity? Why can't we be black and feel the deep pleasure of allowing all of our boxes to be stroked and checked? What is so wild about that?